All right, going to keep on going down this uh, Tom McDonald rabbit hole. This one is Dear Rappers. People want us to do this one next. The so, journey. Tom McDonald journey. Find out Sir. more about this guy. Let's do it. Excited. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe still 28 praying for the day I have a chance. That he can't relate. Rappers. He can't relate to those rappers talking about fucking cars and money and, and being sad. Yeah, yeah, like they have, like they have a good life and they're still sad. Yeah, like that type of shit. Fact. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my. I don't even want to make my mouth go. Cool. Yeah, he doesn't want all that shit. He just wants to take care of his household. Yeah. But, like, the the fans are saying, like, this is during a time when he was, like, in an apartment and still on uh, electricity from the neighbors, I guess, to do his videos. So, gotcha. yeah, he was super. Getting it out the mud. Super destitute, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, getting it out the dirt. Yeah. Nothing from, from nothing to something, you know what I'm saying? Big time. For the day I have a chance, maybe y'all can help me out though I'm just trying to take care of my household I don't even want to make my mouth go I just want to win before the system that I'm in Gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold mm. Dear rappers, can you Squeeze into, under my chin until I'm out cold <laughs> Jeez that yeah, was a he bar. Does, yeah, he doesn't want to Die under the pressure System that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking M &M dropped. CD. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my god, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But mm. these days, uh, a lot of people do that shit. You know what I mean? They feel down and out. They fucking listen to music until they feel differently. Facts. You know what I mean? That's, That's how I real felt shit. it in my chest. Yeah, I listened to that shit till I felt it in my chest. You in the boombox and sit up on my desk, listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean, oh, I don't. Know. <laughs> your music feels like you're trying to write a check. Like you're just trying to skate, skate by with as least amount possible. Right. Like you're get, writing bad checks and yeah. shit just to get by, like get out of yeah. a situation. Like NBA players that just kind of coast through seasons mm -hmm. and shit just to Kyrie Irving, just oh, to cash that check. Bad. Don't don't be hating. My bad. My bad. He, hey man, they told him he couldn't play because he didn't want to take a vaccine. I agree with him on that argument. I just don't agree with him on a lot of his other. Otherwise, he's a cold ass player. A lot of people, you know what I mean? No, they yeah, don't. They sure. don't want to. No, guard he's him. definitely a great. You, you don't want to guard him. Never. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Okay, we're going off topic here. <laughs> Anyways, back to Tom McDonald, dear rappers. He brought that out of us. I don't know. You were talking about it, and then Kyrie popped in the head. My bad. It's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more, and you give me even less. What the fuck? You taught me to think. You taught me to grow. You taught me to things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. So basically, he's saying that those rappers and those songs like taught him how to be who he was but now they're teaching him to do like negative shit like shit that's not benefiting him right? yeah like he was getting help from them you know before they're hyping him up you know what i mean getting him in a different mood now it's like not so much they're trying to just sell him some liquor or sell him some you know drugs or some drugs or you know what i mean yeah gotcha you taught me the things to survive on my own but now you teach me to drink you teach me to smoke you teach me to think every woman's a hoe i don't want your son and teach me to think that every woman's a hoe uh a lot of rap does that yeah yeah i mean that was some real shit for sure me to drink he teach me to smoke he teach me to think every woman's a hoe i don't want your xanax bars or your fancy I really like his hooks too. Like all of his hooks so far that I've heard from him. I've only heard like two or three songs, but all the hooks have been dope. Yeah, they every mean something. They all like have their own meaning. Yeah. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars Xanax or bars. your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's dark. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, just a drug addict on T 
TV. I can hear another. Just a drug addict on TV. <laughs> Don't put your foreign cars in my face and all your drugs. And so he's kind of calling. He's calling some of them out for not even you're being a, real drug yeah, addicts. Yeah, you're just a drug addict on TV. Yeah, he's, th- yeah, he's talking about. He's, like a, he's that. saying that you're just pushing the drugs. You're little not little pumps and little Zans of life and yeah, yeah. A I, think, I, think, I think that's what the hook is kind of going against him, ain't it? Yeah. Like it's like talking about Xanax rappers. It's like For sure. the biggest one. Well, mm-hmm. Zan, right? He's like the I wouldn't say he's the biggest. I mean one. represents the drug. Yeah. I mean, represented his name the is drug. Little Zan. Yeah, he's uh, a commercial for the drug. He's a walking As far commercial. as him being big, I don't know. He's pretty no, he's not falling big. off. I mean, yeah, he's fell off, but I'm just saying he's a walking commercial for Xanax. Shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a walking something. That's weird. <laughs> you seen all fucking song about tattoos. abusing medication. Like Tom McDonald's got dope tattoos that mean shit. Yeah, <laughs> little Zan got some That's fucking random Xanarchy underneath his eyeball <laughs> and shit, bro. Like what the fuck? No, 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 yeah, just a drug addict on TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important <laughs> shit than. Can't hear another song about abusing medication that he needed to take That's to stay what, alive. Yeah. yeah. That shit's a bar. Yeah. Because every single one of those drugs that people abuse is good. They have certain, a purpose. Yeah, they have a reason. Yeah. But people don't, you, not everybody they uses them, it for the yeah, reason. they do them the, for their own personal reasons. Yeah. Trying to escape problems. Hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Yeah. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. <laughs> Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. Cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. <laughs> See, he's, he's like it, like, acting like he's still trying to learn from the rappers. He's like, man, it's already, right. did you run out of alcohol yet? Because I've been drinking all the alcohol you told me to, and I don't know if it's the way to get wealthy. Like, you know what I mean? Or get, you know what I mean? Move, yeah, move, well, move up in life. So what's going on? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Tom McDonald's going crazy. <laughs> Crazy, right? Be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country mm. where police are killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been mm. blinded by the money. You've been. Cool. <laughs> Facts. There's so much going shit crazy. that was going on and everything. This is 2017, so yeah, it's like. This is like Trump's first year in office. It was yeah. like all types of shit. There was nobody what, knew what was going to happen. There was all like, types of chaos going on in the United States. Nobody knew what knew what to expect. Yeah, next. and they're rap- Yeah, people rapping about just stupid, doing stupid shit. Mm. Going crazy right now. Saying, people need some context. They need some content in their bars. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, he taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress. Feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. <laughs> Said not only am I broke, but you stole my money. Like that was like my last bit that I had to go to your fucking concert. Go now to I'm your broke. show. Broke mentally too, cause I didn't learn shit. Yeah. Now you, yeah, you stole everything, and I'm, yeah, you just you robbed, robbed me of my money and my soul. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Nah. <laughs> You cool, showing how I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke, man. You taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Teaching me to live like I know you never would. So you wouldn't live that yeah, lifestyle. You do that. That you're trying to tell me to teach live that. me how to live to be yeah. And want me to live this way, but you don't live that way. Drugged out, yeah. Real shit. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Oh, you preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Those are facts that people need to hear. Some some rappers need to hear that. You know what I mean? Because it's like, what side are you on? Do you want people to have a bad life? You know what I mean? Or a good life. I mean, it's not your responsibility at all. Right. You know what I mean? But that's you what I do think- have an effect on someone's thought pattern, which could lead them butterfly effect down a certain path. That's you know what's what I mean? unfortunate is a lot of rappers just use the excuse of like, 
I don't care. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me. Like, it ain't yeah. my problem. Like, think for yourself. Well, some kids have a hard time thinking for themselves. Sometimes just a little thing will spark their thoughts to move them down a certain path. This is also I mean? off it's subject, like, but I feel the same way, like, when I see NBA players and they, like, cuss in their interviews. Just, to, like, make a point to, like, make them seem like they're fucking tough or something. Like, why? Yeah. Why? Like you're an NBA athlete, you're on national TV, a bunch of kids are watching you, and you're just out here, like, cussing it up on, like, basic interviews. They're asking you regular NBA basketball questions, and you're cussing for no reason. They are being assholes, because most people that look up to them are 12 years old. <laughs> you know what I mean? 12, 13. So, it's like, crazy. Bad role models. Bars, all your fancy foreign car. Not that we're the best role models, either. Nah. We just cuss, like, five times when we're talking about it. Yeah, you don't want, you know, it's like Charles Barkley said, yeah. you know, don't you, have me as a role model. He told people, like, I'm not your role model. Don't have me as a role model. Yeah. Just saying. If you want my advice? Don't take my advice. Take Tom McDonald's advice, though. Yeah. Because he's spinning some real shit right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your money in my face and try to tell me that it's no, no, no. No, no, no. Just a drug addict on I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 Just a drug addict on TV. Yeah, yeah. simple video, but dope. You know what I mean? Or what they had to work with, apparently. They probably just had a room. Dark, yeah, I wanted you know to I mean? mention that. Like I, like I said, the last video that I seen, like, it, they did a lot with the video, and they only had, like, it seemed like they only used, you know, basic stuff that they had around. Yeah, doing Same a lot thing with here. a little. Yeah, they do a lot with a little, for sure. So, shout out to the person that put the video together. I think you said it was his, probably his girlfriend or his wife or yeah, something his, at the time. His new girlfriend, I guess. Is yeah, like she a, did a dope job. She knows what yeah, she's doing. At this, at this time, it was his new girlfriend, Nova. Yeah, she did but dope she's job. Still, yeah, she's still with him it's now. Fine. So, they're doing... Still doing it, so we'll get yeah, to. We we'll need get the button there. so we could drop bombs because it was fire. Oh yeah, right on. Right. Yeah, so we'll continue down this Tom Tom McDonald rabbit hole. This is a uh, dear rappers. It was pretty fire. It was dope as fuck. It sent a message, you know. what I mean, had a great message. Yeah, you know, real, real. I shit. liked it. Real rap. <laughs>